One day after school, I went rollerblading at Carl Schurz Park. Later, I bladed to pick up my sister at tennis. I had just celebrated my ninth birthday. At the tennis court, I rollerbladed all over the place, pretending to be Wayne Gretzky. When I came home, I ate dinner, played a little, and got ready for school the next day. At about 10 p.m., my parents were arguing about something annoying. They said that I was too pale. Actually, it was my sister, Bettina, who convinced them. I went to my dad's office because he's a pediatrician, and I got a blood test. My hemoglobin was 7.8 grams, very low. I had to go to New York Hospital to the emergency room. I didn't really know what was going on, and I was a little frightened. A doctor came in and drew blood. The number was 7.8 again. Trouble. Nobody told me that I had leukemia, but I thought that I had cancer. With an IV in my arm, we went to Memorial Hospital across the street. I met Dr. Myers, who my mother had worked for when she was a fellow in pediatric hematology oncology. Afterward, the anesthesiologist put me to sleep, and they gave me a bone marrow. When I woke up, I was dizzy and confused with my pants down, but I felt fine. <laughs> they were looking for leukemia cancer cells, and they found them. My medicine made my hair fall out partially. My mom got a razor so that my grandfather, Lynn, could take me to a barber shop to have my hair buzzed off. I had to have my own razor because with leukemia, you can't fight off germs as well as healthy people. Uh, here's a picture of me looking up at a photograph of Henry Fonda, a famous old-time actor, before my hair was buzzed off. <laughs> now, first the barber created a mohawk, which looked awesome. <laughs> then it felt good to get all my hair off with the wind whistling through my scalp. I used a hockey hat to cover my head. I am obsessed with hockey. I miss playing because the medicine makes you weak. It's very hard going without your favorite sport. Learning hockey was not what I expected. The first year, I played at two rinks. The team was called the Central Park Mites. The coach said to skate the length of the ice and pretend that there was a loose puck at the other end for a drill. At the end of the year, there was a tournament. We lost. Eating and sleeping. Did you know that you can drink through your nose and sleep at the same time? <laughs> they shove the tube down your nose into your stomach and feed you Pediashore. Isn't that cool? <laughs> the doctors make fun of me because I'm too skinny. Well, I'm going to eat and eat and fool them all. I'm trying to gain weight to help my treatments. <laughs> school. I've been staying home from school. This is hard because I'm a little bit behind, but I am catching up. During PE, my teachers tutor me, and I have tutors at home who help me for an hour a day. The rest of the time, I watch TV, play video games, play on my computer, etc. When there's a test, my teachers always ask if I don't want to take it because I didn't study. But I always say, yes, I'll take the test. My drugs. My drugs are disgusting, but they're required to help me. Some of them wipe out the leukemia cells. Some help to fight infection, and some help with the nausea and the pain. Others try to raise my blood counts, such as red cells and white cells and platelets. I hate them, but I have to take them. Decadron makes war on the leukemia blast cells. 6-MP does the same thing, but it needs three hours to sneak up on the bad cells. This is like the Second World War when Americans fought the Germans. Avitazane and Sayonara, punks.